Hello and welcome to Acton TV Colonial Football here. I'm Tim Lito with Mark Shire. We're at Warrior Country here, Mark. And it's not raining, thank goodness. It is, and we've had the rain earlier today, but this is a big game here. You know, these both of these teams come in. It's just like the old days. It's a good yeah. old-fashioned old ABLS game. DCL yeah. early contest, two undefeated teams showing up at Warrior Field away here. We got the uh, we got the non-truck set up here with two cameras. We're gonna splice in some magic, but <laughs> before we get into all that, we'll be right back with the pre-game analysis after this mess. Hey America, is there anything you're truly proud of? How about becoming an aviation maintenance technician? In just 14 months, you'll be watching the metal birds that you just repaired soar back into the sky. I can't think of anything else to be more proud of. At National Aviation Academy, we train ordinary men and women to do extraordinary things. Welcome to your future. Your plans are ready for takeoff. 800-292-3228 or visit bostonwingman.com. I'm Saad Dino, pharmacist and co-owner of Acton Pharmacy, located at 563 Massachusetts Avenue in West Acton. Your source for prescriptions, medical supplies, and a flu shot for the winter ahead. Our brand new state-of-the-art compounding lab provides compounding medications customized to the patient's needs in a specialized form like a liquid, cream, or capsules. Compounding medications are a needed alternative for those that cannot take commercially available products. We are also glad to assist you in helping you understand Medicare Part D plans and choosing a prescription plan that is best tailored to your medication needs. And when you can't come to us, we'll be glad to come to you via our delivery service. Acton Pharmacy has it all, so put us in your starting lineup this upcoming season. Good luck, AB. Shire, Caton, and Epstein PC, located in the historic Weatherby House, has been your community law firm for over 25 years. We have five attorneys and a supporting staff to serve your business, real estate, or estate planning needs. For more information on how we can assist you in your legal needs, contact us at 978-264-4655 or visit us online at www.skactonlaw.com. That's www.skactonlaw.com. All right, welcome back, everybody. Tim Little, Mark Shire. Boy, am I excited about this uh, this game. Wow. You know, I mean, what a game. You know, now what I like about this season, Mark, is that each week AB has faced another step up in competition. Last week, you know, I think really with Barnstable, they, they looked very formidable from an athletic point of view, size point of view, and we really won that game wire to wire, even though the score was closer to that than that. And, uh, you know, now I think with LS, this is sort of like, you know, final exams in the middle of a school year or something because the winner of this game obviously has the uh, has the line for the uh, DCL, but it's also uh, you know just a big time respect in Massachusetts football and LS with uh, you know what I from what I understand my analysis. I know you've done most of the work here, Mark, but mm -hmm. okay, they have some okay. hogs up front. So they tell got, me about those. They got some big guys up front, and they're led by Cal Kenny, their captain. And I want to tell you, Cal Kenny has been around so long that I actually thought he had already gone to college. Went to the NFL, had a couple of kids, <laughs> but he is just a senior in high school. Last year, Cal Kenny was the Massachusetts Lineman of the Year. And honest to God, Tim, he may not be the best lineman on this team. They've got some big guys who run from 275 to 285. And the last game, we talked about the fact that just because a lineman has a lot of weight, that doesn't make him a good lineman, necessarily. These guys are athletic, they're experienced, and uh, they have been dominant over the last three weeks. Over the last three weeks, uh, they have averaged 40 points a game, they've given up nine points a game, and uh, they, haven't even, they haven't even passed for a touchdown. 
And, and wire to wire, you know, from tackle to tackle and the tight end, they've all come back with a full year of experience at least. Yeah, and Braden O'Connell is a, just a fantastic quarterback. He is a great passer, but they don't need him to pass. So basically you talk about, you know, running to set up the pass. Well, they pass to set up the run. James Dillon, number three, take a look at him. He reminds me a little bit of a little bit bigger Bobby Bear or Larry Bear. He is a college running back, number three. He's got nine touchdowns in three games to lead Division II. There are a lot of teams that haven't scored nine touchdowns. And, uh, and then they've got uh, their captain, uh, Kyle Smith, who's also a very good runner. But O'Connell uh, is, uh, in addition to being a, a great passer, he ran for 128 yards. I mean, last week, LS demolished Cambridge 50 to seven. And uh, it's hard to even get a first down against this defensive line. Yeah, you know, as they say in football, when they're big up front, they're really uh, difficult to, uh, you know, it's really difficult to play against them. But, you know, you look at A.B. as we progress through the season this year, we are much more experienced. I think, you know, as they t talked about in, the, you know, some of the articles and interviewed Coach Bassett, they said, you know, what do you think about the, uh, the game against Barnesville? It's the difference between last year and this year. And he said, really, we've learned how to win. We would have lost this game That's right. with our team's mindset last year. This year we go in and, and take that game wire to wire because we met the challenges within the game as we progressed through the game. So different A-B teams, certainly we're skilled enough to play with LS. The question's gonna be, can we put a whole game together, including up front to, uh, to match LS's yeah, big. Yeah, and, 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 and one issue we have is, is one of our top players, Vic Otero. I spoke with his dad, Vic had 25 stitches in his face and the plastic surgeon who stitched him up said, uh, no activities for three weeks. And Vic looked at him and said, I got a football game to play on Friday. So he has got a mask. He looks like Hannibal Lecter, and he is going to be playing tonight. And I think the key right now is to do a lot, a lot of Tom Brady slot passes, get that ball out quickly, uh, kind of just kind of get that defensive line off a bit, some misdirection. Uh, I spoke with Jerry McGavick, and he said, we're just going to go at him man to man. I love it. So what do you say? All right, let's, let's play, play some, some football. Shire, Caton, and Epstein PC, located in the historic Weatherby House, has been your community law firm for over 25 years. We have five attorneys and a supporting staff to serve your business, real estate, or estate planning needs. For more information on how we can assist you in your legal needs, contact us at 978-264-4655 or visit us online at www.skactonlaw.com. That's www.skactonlaw.com. I'm Saad Dino, pharmacist and co-owner of Acton Pharmacy, located at 563 Massachusetts Avenue in West Acton. Your source for prescriptions, medical supplies, and the flu shot for the winter ahead. Our brand new state-of-the-art compounding lab provides compounding medications customized to the patient's needs in a specialized form like a liquid, cream, or capsules. Compounding medications are a needed alternative for those that cannot take commercially available products. We are also glad to assist you in helping you understand Medicare Part D plans and choosing a prescription plan that is best tailored to your medication needs. And when you can't come to us, we'll be glad to come to you via our delivery service. Acton Pharmacy has it all, so put us in your starting lineup this upcoming season. Good luck, AB. Hey America, is there anything you're truly proud of? How about becoming an aviation maintenance technician? In just 14 months, you'll be watching the metal birds that you just repaired soar back into the sky. I can't think of anything else to be more proud of. At National Aviation Academy, we train ordinary men and women to do extraordinary things. Welcome to your future. Your plans are ready for takeoff. 800-292-3228 or visit bostonwingman.com. Welcome back to Acton TV Sports presentation of Colonials Football. Today's game has been brought to you by Huntington Learning Center, Gallant Insurance, 
Steinberg Lally Charitable Foundation. Medical Aesthetics. TC Lando. Shire, Caton, and Epstein, PC. Active Pharmacy. National Aviation Academy. All right, welcome back, back everybody. AB getting ready to kick off. They won the toss and they have deferred in a Belichickian move and here we go. And they kick it sh short. And wow, another burst of five yards. Looks like they had taken care of it back at the 30, at, at the 30, but 35 yard line. Just a little. Yeah, I think that was Dylan Gamboni on, on the stop there and good field position for LS. And this uh, first set, this first series is going to tell you a lot, Tim. And as you can see from the vantage point, we're positioned in the LS grandstand. So you get yeah. a good look at the AB team and the backs of the LS team here. So we are uh, deep in enemy territory here. Braden O'Connell at quarterback. And he's got that, and they're running wing T set. And they run a bow action run. A, about five or six yards as that offensive line starts to Number 10. Get right, rolling. And the real key is to watch that line. They've got that Cal Kenny and uh, a number of other excellent linemen that have just dominated so far in their first three games. Kyle Smith with that first carry. You see Braden Smith run all the way over to Coach Lopez to get the play. The old wing T fashion there. Very happy with running that clock down yeah. with that dominant run game tonight. Yeah, Coach Lopez is a, is a newcomer. He's only in his 41st year of coaching. Former Newton South captain. O'Connell with Kyle Smith and James Dillon in the backfield. Dillon goes in motion. And it's a keeper to the outside and he's got some room, but not a first down. It'll bring down third down and short. All right, it's going to be third and short, but you're going to, you're going to see the, the legs of Braden O'Connell here, and he just has a little hole that he gets through to get down to a third and one situation. That keeper, a design quarterback run, almost like a wildcat formation. Uh, they run sort of a running back power to the left there. All right, third and one. And oh, wow, he, that's he, close. That'll bring a fourth think, down. Yeah, I think he made it. I think uh, they're going to give it to him, I believe. Just made it, I believe. You very, see, very close. You see the AB defense that time shooting the gap One across the board. That was de definitely a call. Left gap, shoot. And we, uh, we penetrated the line enough to make a good play. First down, though. All right, you got Andrew Shen there. You got Hollis Durstein, Matt Germain. Really, uh, now they're going back to look, take a look at everybody in the box here. They've got 11 in the box. All right, play action. O'Connell looks deep. He's under pressure, and he's yeah. down with a big time sack. And I didn't look deep to see if they had separation here. Take a look at this. Noah Sweeney uh, was on. Uh, Number two, Matt Cunningham. Okay, and you can see you can see that play develop, and that that could have been a coverage sack, even with everyone in the box, and that puts LS way back to about a second and over 20 yards, about oh, second and 19. Only LS would run out of this situation, and I bet you, I'll give it a 90% probability, you're going to see James Dillon with the ball right now. <laughs> He's there on a read option back there. Watch this. Nope, it's a wheel route call. And Dylan with the ball in open space. Oh, a great and play. And he's pushed out of oh, bounds. Yeah. Great, great. Hollis Durstein just will absolutely not be denied. And you can see on the replay, you can see Dylan in the flat calling for the ball. And O'Connell got it, but by that time, Durstein was just making a beeline over to uh, to make the tackle. I'm sure LS, you know, this season hasn't run 
many, you know, kind of boutique plays like that one there. All right, third down and about 22, 23 yards. 19 All right, they run a, run a little action on the left side. Let them go and in. it's covered it with AB and it'll bring a fourth down and 20. Wow, this is going to be an incredible 25. confidence booster. Hollister sign in again on that play. Taken down by Ackenbach's Andrew Chen. And Boy, Andrew Chen on the play also, number 73. You take a look at that pursuit. And now you're going to see their punter. I want to see this kid really work hard tonight. He's a great punter. We saw him in practice. Joey Calero, a very good kicker. And we ran a full rush on that dark dark lights and Vic Otero just lets that ball roll. It's an Ellis roll out to about the 24, 26 yard. That's, That's a good a, call by yeah. Vic. Yeah. At this stage, we have a little momentum. Let's get under center or in the shotgun and, and run a play. And particularly with Vic with that face mask on, I'm a little bit surprised that he's out there uh, uh, catching punts at this point. 25 stitches just a few days ago and uh, face mask and he's He's coming to play football. Nothing that a little duct tape can't handle, I'm sure. I wish Vic a speedy recovery with that. I'll tell you though, the lighting, you look up in the air with that ball, I lost it in the dark sky. I wonder what the vantage point is from Vic trying to feel the punt. All right, look at this, empty set for AB. And different than uh, LS, AB getting the call. Yeah. I'm looking for a quick slant. And I'm also looking for Jonas Wickman to really get involved tonight. They need Jonas tonight, but look for a lot of slot receiver receptions tonight. Empty set, this is a, and it is, it's a pass play. His keeper, he cuts up the middle, he's got some room. And he stretches right. his way for a first down run, Finn Murray. All right, Tim, take a look at the replay. You saw what Finn Murray did. They had the time, and then Finn, with his great vision, saw the holes open and ran for a first down. And that's as many first downs as two of the opponents have gotten in the first half against LS. I like that call. I think you'll see us run out of that empty set a lot and force the coverage. Uh, you know, we must, we must think that may, maybe LS doesn't have the athleticism to cover five receivers. <laughs> All right, you got trips right here. All right, it's time to kick. The keeper is again to Finn as he gets another first down. All right. Oh boy. This is game planning. 25 yards on two carries. Finn's got 25 yards so far. Andrew Cahill, first and 10. First and 10 on the 48 of LS. LS has not been challenged at all this season. They're ranked number three in the state. LS with a blitz there. The ball set complete, steps out of bound. Stanley Bernard. And that's exactly what we're talking about. We're talking about those quick passes where you're talking about between two and three seconds before that ball is in the air. Get the... Uh, See LS now backing off the ball a little bit as they with the linebackers. All right, this time Vic Otero has got nothing there as it's well covered by Cal Kenny. Yeah, Cal Kenny covers a lot of territory. Big kid. He's listed at 275. He's probably around 285. And he can move, too. Third and three, Acton Boxer. Big third down play for AB here. Big conversion. LS with four, you know, just to contain straight across the field, about 10 yards deep. Just a little gap play, first down, and a little hook pattern there. And that's complete to Jonas Wickman there. All right, that, that's exactly what we're talking about. That's exactly the play call. Just find the seam, go in the slot, and get that ball out quickly. Nice low pass, sit down. 
Look Ellis. at this blitz. Let's see if LS blitzes on this play. No, they're they moving back. Blitz up the middle. There's some room again. Finn Murray keeps it and cuts up. Whoa, what a move. Oh, what a move. Finn Murray Whoa. just absolutely went back around and straight up the field again. It's amazing. And he moves the chains once again. That's a third Finn Murray rush for a first down. And now they're knocking on the door here. Finn Murray with 39 yards rushing with 4.49 to go in the first quarter. First and 10 on the 21. All right, looking, looking to Coach Bassett for the play here. All right, you got a read option formation with Barat in the backfield. Finn looks deep, under pressure. He's got some room on the outside again, but he throws the ball on the hook, oh. almost intercepted by, looks like uh, number seven, Milin Lele. Yeah, we knew we would call Lele. Uh, Lele's mom is right in front of us. Great, great. Uh, uh, grandmother. Great, a uh, grandmom, grandma. Oh, the oh, mom okay. too, geez. Well, the grandma looks so young. We've done a lot of know. research. This kid's uh, good. I yeah. know. We know that. At least we pronounced his name correctly. Second and ten. <laughs> as, as we said, we're deep in enemy territory here, just surrounded by LS fans. All right, second and ten here. Finn Murray looking deep. And he's got a gap up the middle again as he cuts up. And he pounds his way closer. The ball's loose. And looks like LS has recovered it. Oh, yeah, great. All right, we'll take, a, we'll take a look at this play. Finn Murray, having nowhere to go with it, at the last minute, decides to take it himself and gets another first down. But at the last moment, that ball is knocked out of his hands. And LS recovers and they've got a first down deep in their territory on the nine yard line. First and 10 on the eight. See what LS comes up with now. Look at AB again, all the way up. Not a single safety on the field. It's everything lined up. They give the ball to Dylan, and LS comes up with a big stop, short game. Wow. Uh, Lincoln Sudbury is not used to this. They're, they're just used to just absolutely opening holes, dominating, and just marching up and down the field, Tim. Inspired effort so far in the part of the Colonials. Just a shame that that ball got knocked out. That was a great drive, and that used about six and a half minutes. Yeah, that was huge. Uh, this tough break here. All right, second and nine. Again, everybody up in the box. And this time it's the keeper by Braden. Oh, a great play. And he gets cut down after about a four or five yard run. Okay, that's Pachillo with a great linebacker read. He's, he's got his eyes on Braden O'Connell and he's gonna be following him around, all around the field tonight. Third and five for the Warriors here. Another big third down play. Let's get let's get that punter out there again, Tim. Yeah, this is uh see what LS does here. Okay, they're in the they're in the read option formation with James Dillon. And a little delay and a great play as a delay. And Lele oh, moves and the, the ball. ball. Moves. And AB has it. AB recovering. Oh, my. Oh, a reversal of fortune right there. As Braden O'Connell made the most of that play. It looked like he'd be caught behind the line of scrimmage, completed the pass, and number two. But interestingly enough, I think LS learned something in that offensive play. That little delay pass against this aggressive up front, all in the box uh, defensive strategy in AB is, uh, is an opportunity for them. Absolutely. Interesting. But they, you know, they just haven't thrown the ball that much. They just haven't gotten that many reps. So it's going to be a question of 
how crisp they're going to be in the passing game because we're forcing them to pass. 2.29 to go in the first quarter, A.B. All right, Finn looks downfield, looks over the middle. He's got, he's got oh. Vic Otero open over the middle, and he overthrows him. There's oh, not yeah. enough air in that ball. Yeah, Tim, Finn, Finn Murray knows he had Otero. Vic had three yards on the defender, and he was all the way into the end zone if he caught that ball. Nobody behind him. Andrew Cahill on the covers on that play. Little post pattern over the middle there. But they're certainly giving LS a lot to think about here. Second and 10. All right, this time Barat gets the ball and look at that second effort as Barat just pounds his way for about eight. That gets physical. Uh, Tim, Tim, we, you know, we take a look at Barat. He's not a big kid, but take a look at this replay. He should have, he should have been caught at the line of scrimmage, and he just, his strength just brings him down to a third and four for AB. All right, little sprint out. Vic Otero makes a nice cut to the outside, and he's going to be a little bit short, I think. And an interesting oh, play call coming up here, six, Tim. Ben Oler, driving down Colonial number six. Milan Lele with the tackle there. Fourth and two, action box four. Fourth and two, that's a famous fourth and two. Guys. And I can't imagine, you know, they may try to get LS offside. They may have a keeper with Finn. And from they, the, may, they may quick, do a quick kick, you just don't know here. From the spot, it's a long two. Vic Otero with the catch, first down. and I think it is. That's a first down. And let's see if they move to chains here. It's very close. I'm calling it a first and 10. <laughs> they let's move, move those well. chains. Vic Otero, a gutsy play call. Perfect pass from Finn Murray to Vic Otero. His first catch of the day, too. Look at the difference in defense with the LS. With the, they've, with they've changed up, haven't they? They're rushing. It's a delay, and Barat with a nice seven-yard run. And, he, and the ball's loose again. No, I think they'd be okay. recovered. They'd okay. be recovered. And actually gained a couple of yards on the fumble. But once again, we talked about that delayed draw and how we've never seen it in all the years at AB, and then you see it twice in two games. I think it's the second delay draw in 25 years. That's I'm going right. to call that. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Pretty cool. All right, second and three. All right, Finn looks. And he's going to keep it up the middle. Little stutter step. And he's within a yard now. I think they're about, about a yard, yard and a half for first down. Two down territory. That's going to that's going to do it for the first quarter. Very impressive first quarter by the Colonials. Well, it's great to see a good old-fashioned DCL competition here again. You know, just opening up this game because it really hasn't been that way for years. LS has really been at the mantle firmly for the last four or five years now. And uh, this league really hasn't had a challenge, uh, a legitimate challenge to LS in a while. So it's nice to see some competition. And the other thing that's really great to see is to take a look at the DCL and to see the number three team playing against the number 16 team in the Globe Top 20 because you haven't seen that in the DCL in many, many years. And I just, you know, in football, the thing I'm sure everybody listening loves about football is the strategy and, and uh, you know, how each play is its own strategic outcome. And we said in the opening that, you know, we'd expect, uh, you know, AB to basically just put everybody up in a box and try to stop this formidable run game it's just what we've done, and it creates this, you know, this stress looking at watching these two teams play because you know on a delayed pass, uh, you know, you're going to have some open seams. You're going to have some, you know, one-on-one. -on -one. Noah Sweeney. Sweeney Island's going to be in full, you know, tilt 
uh, execution tonight with that kind of defense. And that's and that's why football coaches work 120 hours a week because you can. There are so many permutations that, that you can deal with. All right, third and one. Dick Otero play action. They run option to Barat. He does a nice juke. He's down the sideline. And he's in. He's in. He's, in. Or he's oh, close. No. He's on the he, one, I think. Here. Oh, he got he got the pylon on that. I want to see a replay. I'm gonna call replay, which is tough because now you gotta go against LS's goal line D, which is gonna have some hogs up front. Let's see if they change personnel. Take there. a look at that run by Barat. And you just look for yourself and see if he might have just hit the pylon on that. Very, very close. Well, the pylon was down. Either uh, I'm sure the call and is by defender. They thought an L LS guy, LS player, may have hit it, but uh, very, very close. All right, read option. And Barat, he's in. Cuts through. He's in. Touchdown is AB scores first. And I'm going to guess that uh, LS has not been behind all season. That is absolutely correct. They beat Springfield Catholic 35 to 7. They beat a Melrose team that had won 17 games in a row, 35 to 13, and then they beat Cambridge 50 to 7. They have not trailed at any time this season. All right, Finn Murray with the extra point, and the kick is up. And Perfect. it looks good. Perfect. So with 10.25 to go in the first half, it's the Colonial 7 and the Warriors nothing. All right, now that we have a timeout, Tim, why don't we take a look at that famous top 20, that Globe top 20, and uh, we can bring it up and see that Everett is in its accustomed place right at the top, right where they belong. Lincoln Sudbury is in number three position. AB has moved up from 20 to number 16. And if you look at number 11, that's the Mashby team. And the reason I'm bringing that up is that Mashby right now has the record right now for most consecutive wins at 23. So we need a Mashby loss <laughs> to uh, keep our 52 game win streak intact. All right, just in case they win this week, next week we'll come back with a Mashby schedule <laughs> and analyze this thing. All right, Finn Murray with the kickoff. And he kicks a good knuckleball deep. All right, that's Smith. A good runner, and really good, good runner. Good second effort, and he's down at the 32, it looks like. Kyle Smith. All right, Anthony Pinarino right in there. Once again, good kick coverage. Anytime you can hold the team in high school behind the 30-yard line, I, I think that, I think that's a that's a win on a kickoff. Yeah, no, I agree. Now let's, All right. Let's see what adjustments LS is going to make here. So I think LS, I, I, I like that call. Is that a timeout or, or what's the ref? He wants the uh, he wants the coaches off the field on the LS sideline. So I like this adjustment so far. I think running they have a better chance running off the read option with spreading L, uh, AB out a little bit than running in the. All right, play action. Balls in the field, and it's complete. Little step out pass to Cam Enderick. Is that right? Okay, that is Cam Enderick at uh, six foot, 200 pounds. He is a senior, and uh, LS may have to go away from their rush game here to, to uh, mix things up. All right, second and two. Braden with the keeper around the edge, and it's covered for about a two or three yard loss. Look at that team speed. We've talked about it from day one. It's, you know, you can have big hogs up front, but when you have great team speed, look at that pursuit on O'Connell. See Coach Lopez with his hands on his hips. He... All right. He's testing. Here we go. Yeah. Coach Lopez is testing a bunch of different things tonight in this early game to see 
you know, what he's going to go for the rest of the game with this uh, with this big lineup. So oh, far, so good. Lopez, Third and five. He's a football genius. He really he knows his stuff. He's a great coach. We've seen a lot of good matchups with him. All right, again, in a passing formation, he's under pressure. He throws the ball deep over oh, the middle. And Cronowet. Almost, Cronowet. almost intercepted takes that. that. And once again, the pressure on O'Connell forced him to make a throw right into coverage. And that, oh, Cronowet almost had that. If you look at the replay, you see Cronowet yep. just stretched out. He had two hands on the ball. Did Cronowet uh, almost miss an interception last week? Nice play, though. Great play. All right, their punter is in again, number 31. Let's give him a lot of, lot of reps tonight. You see AB complete all up on the punt. Not a single. It's all up. Now they drop back three, and they just get the kick oh, off. Oh, wait a minute. No flag. No flag. Vic Otero feels the ball. Uh, I, think, I think we got a block in the back. Uh, it's going to cost us 10 yards. We were very close to a uh, roughing the kicker penalty. That was a good play by the AB player there on the replay. Uh, you see him just drop to the ground and yeah, lay flat. Yeah, he just, you know, he, trying to stop the momentum to the kicker, which is better than staying up. Uh, you stay upright, you're gonna. Right, and that's, you're done. That, that's very <laughs> difficult, and he just avoided that penalty. All right, they take it back. And uh, AB is going to start on their own 31. All right, they've got the ball, they've got the lead, 9.06 to go in the second quarter. And let's see what this series brings. You've got that big number 71 right in the middle, Cal Kenny, number 87, Jack Garrity. And they're going, they go with a... Kyle Smith is on Bernard. Four-man front. This time Barat cuts up a little power play again, and he gets a good five or six yards. That's 35 power. They've been running that. Barat has that down. I think, that, I think they gave him a tough spot on that. Only about a two-yard gain. Yeah, that, 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 that's... Maybe it's a vantage point. We're just seeing more backfield than we usually... All right, second and eight. LS rushing three and Finn Murray. And uh, they're, right, they're going for the ball. You can see Cal, Cal Kenny just trying to wrestle the ball right out of Finn's. I want to tell you, if you look at the replay on this, that, that hole was wide open. If Finn had handed off, that would have gone for a, long, for a long gainer. And now you've got a tough third down conversion. Got a third and, third and a long six. Yes. Contained straight across the field about 12 yards back. Ben Murray with the long throw on a post to Bernard. And it's complete for a first down and more all the way to the 35-yard line of LS. And take a look at Stan Bernard after that, doing that NFL first down. I'll tell you, this is just fun to watch. That pass is right on the button. And Stan Bernard has been showing great hands. In addition to separation, great hands this season. All right, LS rushing three again. And over the middle goes Jonas Wickman All sitting right. down for about nine yards. That's what we need, that big number 87 just sitting down in the middle, just do what's the old the old button hook, and they're going to move the chains. They're going to give him a first, first down, down, Jim. Yep. That's a 10 yard little yeah, hitch in with the tight end. Such a big target. All right, LS now coming with four. Look for the linebacker blitz, it looks like it. And it is, they're gonna throw a quick linebacker. Good call on this play, but Vic Otero, good play. Wow. Okay, that was uh, number seven once Lele, again. Milan Lele there Lele. with a good open field tackle for about a two yard loss. Lele having a great defensive game here and it's second and about eight. Two yard loss. Second and 12, I'm sorry. Second and 12, two yard oh, loss on that.
All right, Finn looking to pass. He's under pressure. He escapes. And he's got a spy. He escapes and he gets maybe. He got about five yards. Four or five on that. yards yeah, there. Yeah, he did well. Taken down by number so I think that the uh, change LS has done is they're rushing three and they're, they got a spy on Finn. Uh, maybe one on either side for contain purposes, but there's a lot more attention on Finn Murray. Oh, yeah, in the absolutely. Game now. I think uh, they're middle linebacker. My sense is they opened up the game and said, let's not let's not spy for the first set and see if we can get away with it. And that, that didn't work out very well. So I think that's where they are. All right, Finn steps up, looks deep over the middle. And it's oh, touchdown, Vic Otero! Vic Otero! Post pattern wide open! Hannibal Lecter scores six. Stitches, face mask, whatever. <laughs> wow, so, so what do we take from that, Mark? I think, you know, the post pattern, the way this LS team is setting up defensively, they're leaving that post open. And They're going to have to adjust yeah, to that because that post at, is open on, on, the, on, the three, on this replay. You can see the separation that Otero gets. It's just like pitch and catch. All right, the kick is up and it looks good. Wow, this has been an interesting turn of events here. 5.47 to go in the first half and it's the Colonials 14 and LS nothing. And wow, you know, good call. The AB coaches this game of really made the right adjustments. Like, I'm sure they were giddy up top saying the post is open. They hit Bernard, they hit Otero. And uh, you know, now they have to deal with how do they keep Finn Murray productive on, on the, with the run game for the rest of the game. That's my next challenge. If the coaches would hear me, I wish I could just send that out to them. I'd like to know how they're going to do that because you got to have Finn continue to run if they're going to stay in this game. Yeah, and, and, we, and we talked about Finn Murray having to have the game of his life and also Jonas Wickman having to have the game of his life. And so far, uh, all that's happening. 14 to nothing, 547. Quick we, moving first half here. We've kicked the ball right to Kyle Smith every kickoff, and they do it again. He takes the ball to his own five yard line. Good kick. See if we can break down. He's got an opening on the sideline, and he is going to get pushed out of bounds by Finn Murray across midfield. Yeah, you can you, you can sleep, you can see on the replay when uh, when Smith was about to make that cut, a little slip on the on behalf of a uh, AB defender, and that allowed him to to go down the sidelines, and now it's in AB territory on the 45 yard line. I, in my mind, I said in that kickoff, let's not get him a special team play to get back in the game, and of course in football that happens often, you know. So, all right, again. Nobody, no safety in the A-B defensive lineup. All right, little delay draw, and it's covered well by A-B, right. maybe a two-yard gain. Okay. The and look at that. Yeah, look, at, look at the camaraderie. Pachillo. Nick Pachillo, I'll tell you. Second and eight. All right, under center this time is O'Connell. And they do a dive up the middle with James Dillon. And he pounds his way up for about a five yard run. Yeah, you know, I mean, Dillon, you know, he's got nine touchdowns. But last week, Dillon ran only 10 times for a total of 35 yards last week. I mean, two weeks ago. Of course, they didn't need him to do that much because they've, they've been, a, been ahead by so much. Check that, about a three yard gain, third and five. All right, I have to believe this is four yard, uh, four down territory for the Warriors here, down two touchdowns. Let's see if Coach Lopez goes to a straight wing tee. He is, that's what I was gonna say. Yeah. That's the right call. Go now on. they go wing left with Dylan as the uh, three back. And uh, I'm trying to full There's back. A counter. And it's a little. They can't do anything with it. Look, cross pop up the middle. Dominating. And LS is going to go for this to bring up fourth down at four, I would think. Let's see. Match no. Nope. They're kicking. Or at least they're going to line up to kick. Fourth down at five. 
All right, you're you're just about five yards. So if you go off sides, that's going to be an automatic first down, just barely for LS. So you've got to be very careful about not going off sides. All right, Vic Otero stepping back deep here. Joey Valero, low snap, no rush. And he gets a high kick, and Otero's is going to let that thing go. That's and hopefully, in the end zone. It's in the end zone. Number 31. I was a little concerned that was on the one with a retro bounce, but it wasn't. All right, 3.23 to go in the first half, 14 nothing. Can I ask you a question? Do you, do you believe what you're seeing tonight so far? <laughs> I mean, you know, the game, there's a long way to go in this game, and we're playing a really great team. But with 3.23 to go in the first half, right now, AB looks like the dominant team. Well, you know, I, I think what it says to me is football, you know, you can cover uh, strength up front with, with a defensive strategy, which is basically, you know, 10, 11 in a box. The question is tick, 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 will it last the whole game? <laughs> but on, on top of that, though, Mark, what we have seen is we're, we're holding our own in the trenches. Absolutely. Which is that, really the story of the game so exactly far. that's exactly what Jerry McGavick said. We're going to go mano a mano with these guys. All right. Read option. Finn Murray looks over the middle, and they throw sideline pass. Oh. And is it intercepted? Oh. It's intercepted or no. No, 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 no. No, it's just knocked no, down. No. He that did. was a late he throw, Matt Cunningham. He, he should, probably should have intercepted it. Wow. And that would have, that would have been a real game changer right there. Here's, so we, we dodged a bullet right there. Here's one thing. The, the, uh, the five and out sideline pass, which we've worked well for this all year, LS is all over that. And I think you got to take that and put that in the draw for a while. I'd, li I'd like to see a double move here, a stop and go. Little delay again, draw. Barat with oh, a second effort, and he gets about advantage. eight. He makes it a makeable third down play. You see the replay here, and you see, you know, the offensive line getting on their blocks and staying with them. They, you know, not to overpower, just stalk block this oh, defensive look at that, line. Look at that and again, hole. a nice cut and a good hit look at the at end and run hole. for a first down. All right, Barat running with power, but that the O line is just opening up. Well, we have a you know we have a numbers advantage up front with uh, with LS just rushing three. There's a lot of respect uh, for the the keeper run game. Finn with the pass, little sit down throw, and it is not. Uh, no, incomplete. Incomplete, okay. Incomplete. Ethan Logue uh, was the intended receiver, I believe, there. But yeah, you see you see in the replay, number 87 came in, and two AB players just absolutely chipped them. And that's what they're doing right now. Really good protection. All right, LS rushing four. And plenty of time is Vic Otero. Gets tucks down and misses a shot from James Dillon. Uh, that's another first out. He was he was ready to go into his one of his uh, Mikhail Baryshnikov moves, but uh, just didn't have enough time to do it. All right, great. What a two, the greatest footwork. Okay, we got a timeout here. Who's that timeout? Who's calling that? Uh, I think either either side. Although AB had some momentum in that drive, but I think. Uh, I want to know from the ref. All right, I believe it's an LS timeout here. And while we have a timeout, why don't we go to our leaders, our touchdown leaders, passing leaders in Division One. At the very top is our own quarterback, Ben Murray, with five touchdowns. He's tied for number one in all of Division One, and he's added to that total tonight. And uh, been a long time since uh, one of our quarterbacks, uh, I think your son-in-law, Henry Morris, might have been the, the last one to uh, to make that list. Yeah, no, that's uh, that's about right. Uh, all right, so it's a game of adjustments here. See what LS does. I think AB takes the uh, 
takes the sideline pass away. LS trying to keep AB in the middle of the field now. We're running a we're running a middle safety to take that post away. This time it's a keeper with Finn Murray, and he walks his way for about five yards. Patient run with good vision. You see LS going for the ball. Second and, uh, and you can see, call it second and six. You can see Matt Cox just at the very end of that. Matt Cox giving Finn Murray that little assist to get him that extra yardage. And now they're looking in. Good, good uh, gain on first down. I believe that's timeout yep. AB. We looked a little disorganized there. Hey, I got a little story about, remember JT okay. Kelly? Who can forget JT oh, Kelly? He oh, did yeah. everything. He, 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 was, he punted, he was a punt returner, defensive back, running back. Uh, he was a lacrosse great at AB. Played lacrosse for four years at RPI. In his senior year, he said, I want to play football again. And we mentioned JT a couple of weeks ago. Well, he scored his first touchdown for RPI and uh, couldn't happen to a nicer kid. Just a great kid, a great athlete, and just wanted to play football in his senior year and has made quite a contribution to, uh, to RPI. That's great. You know, I think of JT Kelly. I think of, you know, over the years, the quintessential colonial football player, JT Kelly, deserves to be in that conversation. Absolutely. One of those 10 or 20 kids over the years that did everything well, undersized, still did everything well. All right. They run a fly. Vic Otero looks, looking to pass, I believe, and gets taken down for no gain. Hit hard. Yeah, and, and you could you could see that uh, Bernard was out there, but uh, he was double covered. And 133 Vic, Vic to go in the first to, half. No, nowhere to go with that. And, and they just lost about a yard on that and called the timeout. That's interesting call. Uh, I'm not sure I agree with that. I think LS runs that against us potentially. That's dangerous because of the way we're playing all the way up in the box. But you know, LS has got these a four safety formation here. And uh, look at they're playing man to man. You see him moving with the receivers. Who's who's got Bernard? All right, Finn looking deep. He's got some time over the middle, and it's a pass complete to Vic Otero as he steps down, and it's a first down, a clutch play, Murray to Otero. But in addition to the frozen rope that Finn Murray sent over to Vic Otero. I love what Vic does after he catches the ball. He is just so elusive. And now we're right on the 30 yard line. All right, Finn Murray throws the ball. Oh, just didn't look in time. It was intended for Ethan Lowe. And Lowe. Yeah. he was open. We're down to 112, second and 10 right now on the 30 yard line. I don't understand why that hook zone 31. is so open. We're taking advantage of it. It's uh, 112, as you said, clocks. You would think they'd have that hook zone. Well, they've got, they've got zone coverage, but they're, they're just not executing. And it's... Okay, keeper by Finn Murray, great block as Finn could have cut the other way, but he gets close to a first down run there. All right, look he at cuts that. the other way, he might have had a touchdown. Look at that block though by Alex Barat. And it is first down. And that's gonna stop the clock with 105. AB looking to go up 21 to nothing against the Warriors here. We got some work to do, but that's a great coach call to have that right at that time. All right, LS rushing three. Just another keeper play, but Oh, Otero! Oh. Right yeah, in his hands, that. just didn't bring it in. And uh, he wasn't really hit that hard. He just was up in the air. Finn Murray looks fantastic tonight. I mean, he is just, he's just on everything tonight. Nine of 15, 107 yards. Nine of 15 for 107 yards, according to Statman, right next to us here, Will Henry. Look at the difference in the defense now. LS playing a uh, center fielder. The takeaway to Bernard Post. Barat 
The middle run for about five. 40 seconds to go, timeout. AB. Now, now it's, not, it's not inconceivable that you might see a field goal try here if, uh, if AB doesn't make it. The only thing I don't like about that field goal from here, uh, low trajectory kick, is that uh, LS has got it's gotten penetration on our extra point kicks. We've gotten them off. There, you know, you get that ball up. We've done a nice job of execution, but you change it to a field goal kick, and uh, well, I'll tell you though that three points is a huge three oh. points because what that does is that negates two touchdowns and two two point conversions, and makes it makes it literally a three score game. Oh, so agree. that that three points is worth the touchdown. No question. You get it through the uprights, I'll take it. I was just, uh, you know. I know. It's a, it's a know, tough call. I, I've been watching tough, that block. And, tough the, call. I've been yep. watching the penetration. It's scary to me what's going on so far, but so far so good. All right, third down and nine. All right, Finn. He's got the keeper. He's going to keep it. And he's going to cut back over the middle. Gets hit big time by number 86, who... Uh, and that looks uh, like a close, first down. Yeah, Finn a Murray first, hopefully gets up and he's down. okay. Where is Finn? Okay, they're gonna they're gonna have a timeout. Where is that ball located? And that is first and goal with 30 seconds to go. Do we have one more timeout? I think maybe one more timeout. Finn Murray has 181 total yards. Ben Murray, 181 total yards so far in the first half. 74 of it rushing. Punt, nine carries. Get the Swiss Army knife. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Ben Murray's doing everything. 74 yards rushing. All right, if you have a timeout, Gives you a lot of options here. All right. LS rushing four with an outside blitzer, it looks like. Nope, they just chip. Dylan chips. The ball's oh, yeah. thrown nice over the middle. Stanley Bernard on the one. Did you see how perfectly that was thrown where no one else could catch it? Double coverage on Stan Bernard, and once again, he brings it in, and I believe probably the last time out, and the ball is just sitting there tantalizingly right by the goal line. So again, you know, uh, LS is probably hasn't been in a goal line defense all year, except for the last series and this play. I'm going to guess when somebody has scored against this team, it's been with the second swing in or it's uh, been a breakaway play to just a breakdown in coverage or, you know, assignment or something like that. It hasn't been that year running against these kids on the goal line. So let's see. Yeah, they, I mean, they've only, before, until this game, they've only given up four touchdowns the whole season. All right. Finn on the keeper and just run it, run it straight up the gut. Well, you, you know, one thing would be interesting, I don't know how agile LS is, but do you line up in shotgun then get under center and sneak it? You know, yeah, I just and see don't, if they adjust I, or I they have somebody I on center? I just don't like us under center. Yeah, right? no, we, we, we're not you know, comfortable. You know what happened the last time. All right. Jonas Wickman looks like he's got some room over there. He's looking for Wickman. Oh, yeah. oh, it's oh. wide open. And uh, on the replay, you can see Cal Kenny had a shot at Finn and it was blocked at the end there with 17 seconds to go. And uh, he's on the ground. Well, the good news is that it didn't, didn't take much time and it stops the clock. Third down. And goal on the one. But you can see the respect that we're giving to their run defense. We got a timeout. This looks like an LS timeout here. And it's just a battle of timeouts. So if we're out of timeouts, Mark, which I think we are, this has got to be a throw. 
Absolutely. Uh, you know, uh, it might be a throw with a look of an option if he has the end zone, which, um, you know, I'm sure they got kids, you know, they, they got a couple spying on Finn, probably left and right in this defense, playing zone and spy. So you're going to throw the ball, you're going to keep it low, and then you're going to kick a field goal. If that doesn't work, I'm, I'm sure that's uh, what A.B. has in mind. Yeah, right, right, LS right, knows that. Right now, right, <laughs> not, right now, they're in a position to kick that field goal if, if they don't make it. But this, to me, is Jonas Wickman territory. Uh, he's got that big body. He just has to go just a couple of yards, turn around, big target. Well, and that and last play see. is wide open. Look at Jonas again. He's in the slot. Last time, they basically uh, they had the linebacker coming in hard. Uh, let's see. Because I think Lele's got Otero. Oh! And that's touchdown, A.B. Stan Bernard! With a really nice little, just, that's, that's a, just a pro play there. You line up wide and you just run along the sideline. Very difficult to cover that play if the timing's right. An uh, AB I, have score. To, I have to be honest with you, Tim. In all my years of covering AB football, I have just never seen an offense like this execute like this. It's just incredible. All right, the kick is up, and it is good. I mean, all these years I've been, we've been watching wing T offense. You know, it's only been a few years since we le we left the wing T, and to see this kind of diversified offense. Uh, this is this looks like a pro style offense here. Well, I think Finn Murray is is come of age this year, and I I agree. And I, even last year, I was really uh, proud of the team's development as we went through the season last year. You know, the improvement from start to, to end of the season was impressive. But I agree with you. Never in my mind, I thought we'd reach this point of execution, especially against a, a great defense. All right, 12 seconds ago in the half, and I think you gotta. You got to make sure that you script this ball downfield enough time off the clock and break down and make sure you don't uh, you don't you guard against a big time that's, running that's back. That's exactly here. right. You, you don't you don't want to kick it deep. You just want to squib it down to the 35, 40 yard line. And there goes Finn Murray. And of and course, they kick it away. It deep. Right, right. And it's a good deep kick and all the way to about the three. Let's see if we break down enough to. Get that coverage, oh, yes. and good coverage by A.B. with four seconds to go. Okay, my God, that is Noah Sweeney on the stop. And I think that everybody expected the squib kick, so he kicked it well, I just over, think the, over the uh, coverage there. It's just Bassett's aggressiveness. Coach Bassett is just so aggressive on all fronts. you got to admire the way he calls the game. It's fearless. All right, now you got to watch for hook and ladder, uh, unless uh, they take a knee here. Uh, but if it is, it's it's. Uh, I think they may take a knee. Yeah. And they do. Yeah. All right. What a first half here. A B comes in here, ranked number 16 against the number three L S. Arguably, you know, the best L S team has been fielded amongst the last four or five years, and they've had some really good ones with this all-in returning offensive line. And we're up 21 nothing. This is absolutely amazing, Tim. I have I have not seen anything like this. It's only one half of football, but uh, I'll tell you, AB has executed brilliantly this first half. Yeah, and you know, against this uh, LS team, you sure like to get up by three scores to deal with the adjustments they're going to make at halftime, and uh, and so on. So this has been a heck of a half. So that'll do it for first half action, and we'll be right back after this message with the Statman player comparison.
Shire, Caton, and Epstein, PC, located in the historic Weatherby House, has been your community law firm for over 25 years. We have five attorneys and a supporting staff to serve your business, real estate, or estate planning needs. For more information on how we can assist you in your legal needs, contact us at 978-264-4655 or visit us online at www.skactonlaw.com. That's www.skactonlaw.com. Hey America, is there anything you're truly proud of? How about becoming an aviation maintenance technician? In just 14 months, you'll be watching the metal birds that you just repaired soar back into the sky. I can't think of anything else to be more proud of. At National Aviation Academy, we train ordinary men and women to do extraordinary things. Welcome to your future. Your plans are ready for takeoff. 800-292-3228 or visit bostonwingman.com. All right, welcome back, everybody. It's time for our Statman Halftime Player Comparison. Take it away, Mark. All right, there are just really two numbers that I want to give you, Tim. 242 and 33. And that is, that just borders on the unbelievable. 242 total yards for Acton Boxborough. 33 total yards for Lincoln Sudbury. Finn Murray, 11 out of 18 for 116 yards. Two touchdowns, one to Vic Otero, one to Stan Bernard. Otero, five catches, 54 yards to TD. Stan Bernard, four for 45. Uh, Wickman has uh, caught two for 17, 116 yards total, and rushing. Finn Murray, 74 yards, got most of them right at the beginning, and you were as we were just discussing. They've really kind of closed that down. Most of Finn Murray's yards were really in the first four minutes of the game. And then Barat with some strong running. Eight rushes for 49 yards, total of 126 yards. Uh, Lincoln Sudbury, their quarterback, Brandon O'Connell, O'Con two for four for just 11 yards, and then 21, 21 yards rushing, and that's it for uh, LS. It's just been total dominance. Uh, the other way around. And Mark, you think about it, and we lost uh, we lost a fumble at the uh, 20, uh, 15 yard line or 20, 22 yard line or so. So uh, what a great first half with AB. Again, you know, we talked about this is a, this is a, you know, final exams early. This is a good old fashioned DCL important game early in the season. Just so excited that Dual County, you know, excitement is back from uh, AB perspective we have an opportunity tonight we've been up for the challenge in the first half so we got one more half to play I can't wait so it's just so exciting I'm so proud of our team so far yeah I mean it's been you know we've, we've had we've had some uh, decent years and a couple of down years but uh, this looks like the year that we're just kind of putting it all together and it's like that old time magic is coming back and it feels so good and, uh, you know, we got the camera on the LS team, which had its halftime meeting out in the field as a home team. I don't even remember LS meeting at halftime in the field. I'm not sure if that was a coach call by Coach Lopez. But again, you know, this is a great team. They're ranked number three for a reason. We got another, you know, path to go football. Anything can happen. But right now, 21 to nothing. And with that, we'll be right back after this message with second half action. <laughs> I'm Saad Dino, pharmacist and co-owner of Acton Pharmacy, located at 563 Massachusetts Avenue in West Acton. Your source for prescriptions, medical supplies, and a flu shot for the winter ahead. Our brand new state-of-the-art compounding lab provides compounding medications customized to the patient's needs in a specialized form like a liquid, cream, or capsules. Compounding medications are a needed alternative for those that cannot take commercially available products. We are also glad to assist you in helping you understand Medicare Part D plans and choosing a prescription plan that is best tailored to your medication needs. And when you can't come to us, we'll be glad to come to you via our delivery service. Acton Pharmacy has it all, so put us in your starting lineup this upcoming season. Good luck, AB. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action here. AB up 21 nothing. We get the ball. And there's the kick, it's deep, it's to Barat. And a nice sidestep here, I'm sorry, it's not Barat, it is good, 
Good defense there. Across That's, the 30 yeah, to the 31. Douglas. Nick Douglas, I believe. Nick Douglas, yeah. yeah. Nick Douglas with a good return. And, and, now, and now the question is, is do you try to do, you know, play a little ball control, or do you just, you know, you, as we said, as we said, when you play not to lose, you lose. So I have a feeling that Tim Bassett is just going to come out and be just as aggressive as he's been in the first half. I agree, Coach Bassett is just an attack mindset. Uh, they're playing basically the same, looks like the same defense they had in the, in the second quarter with single high safety. And they're playing now eight, nine in a box. And it's a low throw, and there's and a flag a, on the play. We the quarterback. Number 43, Alex Kelly. Let's take a look at this play here. Oh. Yeah. Roughing the quarterback. Okay. And that's a big penalty. It's going to take the ball all the way to the 48 yard line. And you can see Finn Murray. They protect Finn Murray. And that LS defender just came in on him. And that's a huge mistake by LS. All right, read option, formation, Finn looking downfield. And in the slot is Vic Otero with a stutter step and another first down, 12 yards. This is just more of the same. Just picking up where they left off. Ball is inside the 40-yard line. I have not seen Finn Murray be so crisp with his passing as this game. You're gonna, LS is gonna run an invert into that hook zone in the next couple, you know, next four or five plays. We gotta be careful. Keep that ball low. Yeah, All right, yeah. first and 10. Looking over the middle. He's gonna take the ball and run. He's loose. One man to beat there. Nice tackle break. Cuts again. Cuts again. He's got all the way down to the 20 yard line and he gets tackled looks like out of bounds no flag on the play no no i think that, i think that was a clean tackle oh, on the oh, sideline oh, but oh, finn oh, murray oh, is oh, doing oh, it all oh, he looks oh, all oh, world oh, at this point and uh, vic otero oh, is uh, i don't know if he is uh, a little banged up but no he's good he's good to go he said they take away the middle quarterback keeper but that's an outright scramble run there so finn's gonna Look for that opportunity. And they are in the red zone right now. All right, Vic Otero, a little swing pass, and he gets out of bounds. Tackle by Lele. And a good gain on that. Lele's had a lot of action tonight. Second and ten, All right, about second and five, a long four and a half yards to go here. Almost no time off the clock, 9.34 to go in the third. Brock with a middle run up for about four or five. I think that's going to be call. very close to a first down. And let's see if they move the chains here. That's first down. First and goal. All right. On the seven. And at least that keeps the clock moving. I want to keep that clock moving here. James Dillon looking for the defensive call. LS rushing four, and they give it to. Barack again, and this time he stopped at the line of scrimmage. That's just that's like the just the second time that I think that Ellis has stopped them like that at the line of scrimmage. Well, that power play would be the easiest to adjust to, in my opinion. You know, you got a little bit more time to develop that play. We've run it successfully. You, you see Jonas Wickman out there in that slot. Keep an eye I'm on just that. I'm looking for Wickman on this play here. Either Wickman or Lowe. One of those two is going to be open. There's two against 
Watch, if, depending on if uh, Otero cuts. Oh, good play, good defensive play by number 45, Kyle Smith. Captain. Yeah, Kyle Smith made a good defensive play, but uh, uh, Finn Murray really didn't have any chance on that. He was backpedaling, and a good rush put on by LS, and now it's third and goal as LS is stiffening a little bit defensively here. Yeah. Oh, he talked. Oh, touchdown. Oh, Ethan I, I, Lowe catches the bounce off of Jonas Wickman. Well, you they know, went with we, Jonas. We, we talked about Wickman and Lowe, and we got a double header. We got it bouncing off of Wickman into the hands of Ethan Lowe, and it is 27 to nothing. How do I do that stat? Uh, <laughs> Well, I'll tell that's, you, that's, that's a reception by Logue, I think. But yeah. Jonas Wickman was opening that slot. He, I think they just been writing in notes in their book saying we're going to go to him. But great, great teamwork. And LS coming over the top on the rush, but we get it. And with 8.06 to go in the third quarter, it's 28 to nothing. AB, and that's a big score against this big time offensive machine in LS. But you see, you see it just absolutely shredding the secondary of the Warriors. It's just, it's just pick your poison, whether it's Bernard or Otero or Wickman. And Ethan Lord was right there, Johnny on the spot to get that deflection. And I'll tell you, Ethan Lord deserves that. Yep, and I just say the offensive machine because you know tick 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 these guys are going to get going at some point yeah in this game. i know i know i know but you just want that time to go out we've got we're we're counting down 19 minutes to go in this game all right kick it deep to the captain smith and let's see we break down we give him the outside again and he's out I'll tell you, he is one powerful kid. He is one strong, powerful runner, and he puts LS in a great position. I'm not sure what our coverage is. He's basically been down that sideline. He's returned right every single time. Uh, we got to basically respect that next kick if we, uh, we have the opportunity. Look at, look at A.B. still lining up, all up in the box. All right, play action. A little screen pass, James Dillon on the flat. And he's going to go to the house. He's got one man to beat, Otero. And Otero stopped him at the seventh big time response by L.S. Well, you know it's going to happen sooner or later. And, and you knew the play it was going to happen on, and you, and you called it some time ago, a little delayed screen, and you get a guy in space, and Dylan was the one to go about 60 yards on that play. This Touchdown is, saving tackle by Vic Otero. There's no safety to rotate. Effectively, Otero's playing linebacker, <laughs> almost, you know. Nice tackle in open field. All right, this time, they're running a double wing fly, wing T, and a little cut back up the middle. And good coverage, maybe a yard gain, second all down. Hollis Nursing really came in, made a good stop on that play, stopping Smith. It wouldn't surprise me if they line up in a wing tee again here. It is. It's wing left, and we we slant to that position, and it is it's touchdown. A touchdown. LS. All right, Dylan scoring his tenth touchdown in the season, leading 
I think all Massachusetts players in rushing touchdowns, number 10 just in this fourth game, and Ellis is on the board. And this is gonna, gonna become a race against time. The, the key at this point is to avoid turnovers and run some clock. And the kick and look is at that good. Kick. Whoa. That, kick, that kick was a 45 yard field goal, no problem. They got a great kicker. The ref's going back, they got it, he'll be back tomorrow. You know, I mean, uh, all right, 28 to seven. LS responds big time with it. It starts with a special team play. It gets the team up. And, uh, you know, I, I expect that Coach Lopez is going to basically go into wing T formation and run the risk or the opportunity that he's going to be able to drive the ball down the field and score 21 points to get back in this game. That's my no, prediction. I, I, I'm, fr I'm frankly not surprised that, that he didn't do that before. Yeah. That, yeah. that he didn't do that a, a, a while ago uh, later on in the first half. Well, we don't even have the, uh, you know, the experience this year playing against wing T. So it's a whole, as we know, it's a whole different little I mean, pra talent. Practically every team is in the spread now. All right. AB now. Oh, Dan Bernard, and they're calling down. it down. Wow. And once again, those, you know, those are the kinds of situational mistakes that you want to avoid. Chances are that ball would have bounced into the end zone. You don't know what, what the, you know. Well, but. Stan Bernard had a, lot, had a lot of room to run, too. And A.B. is deep in their own territory inside the 10-yard line. And this is a big series, Tim. The big series when you're talking about being up 21 points with six minutes to go in the third quarter and it's a big series this is a big series because ls now has hope and their defense is going to just feed off of the offense here and you we, see we have seen huge momentum swings in the past all right you got smith on bernard Russian four, Finn Murray looking. Oh! Smith goes for the interception and it's cleared out, but Bernard just lost his sight on the ball. Well, you got you got two players there, Tim. If you look at that replay, you got two players just banging their heads. Smith saying, why didn't I intercept the ball? And Bernard saying, why didn't I catch the ball? because uh, both of those possibilities were there. Second and 10. And they run a little flat and it's... Not sure. You see Bassett though, very aggressive. He's throwing, you know, even that flat play hasn't worked. He's still in his own territory deep. All right, third and eight. A long eight. All right, the running zone. They got trips against two on the left-hand side. And you've got a you've got a fan base that is just going crazy right now here at LS. Oh, oh just yeah. right behind him. That play wide open. Thrown, be, be, thrown behind Ethan Lowe. And that brings out a punting fit. It was the right read, as I called it. The, you know, trips against two defensive players there. As long as the ball comes out quick, you got you yeah, got somebody yeah. open. And the play and the play was there. He just threw a little bit behind him. And now they've got a punt from deep in their own territory. And you've got Smith around the 43-yard line. And a good kick. He's gonna and a bad ball. The ball is gonna bounce. Murray's good field position for LS with 5:46 to go in the third quarter. LS in a very good position to make this a two-score game here. Welcome to high school football, folks. This is the way. It, this is the way it goes. 
Well, right now we still have our first half lead of three touchdowns. New game here with 5.46 to go in the third quarter. And look at AB's defense, still no safety, all up. All right, O'Connell looking over the middle deep. He's got a man deep, and it's touchdown to Smith. Double move, I would have guessed there. We saw O'Connell throw from sideline to sideline before the game, and he was just throwing spiral after spiral, and it looked just like that. And before you can say anything, it's 28 to 13, and LS is on the way back here. And they're doing it on the air, which is gonna open up the run game, so you got, this is a whole different half of football. And the kick is good. Woo! All right, with 5.38 to go in the third quarter, LS strikes quick twice. With AB up 28 to 14. Uh, you're looking at a really energized warrior team here. And it's almost like, you know, the old Cinderella story. You know, at midnight, you know, like when you wake up and uh, this team has woken up. And now it's a matter of execution. And you know, we you just simply didn't execute on that play. Ethan Logue was open. And I think they uh, should have part of their halftime conversation too. You know, we came out, I mean, very aggressive defense here uh, with that Hello, score and we're up in it. Susceptible to double moves. And, uh, you know, you, I'm sure that's in the replay, you think back at it again, it's probably a little double move action with Smith, which yeah. basically gives him a step or two. I don't yeah. think it's a speed advantage. I think it's a double move. All right. Otero with a left return. He's got some blockers ahead. He's got a seam and goes across the 40 to the 42 yard line. Much right, better field right. position. Okay, well done. Well blocked. And this could be the most important series of the game, Tim. Coming That's out now and just trying to stem the tide here. 40 yard line for Andrew Taylor. You know, we're looking at the clock, and it seems like time has stood still suddenly. You know, the clock was moving and moving, and not not much clock has ticked off. Again, single high safety. That's been a difference. Really playing a three-man contain now. And there we go. Against that, we get the run, and Finn Murray. Gets all the way to the 40 yard line, and there's a flag on the play. That's a hold against AB, and it's gonna bring it back. And now it's like everything that could go wrong is going wrong. You got Stan Bernard catching a kickoff with his knee down. You get that throw behind Ethan Lowe, and now you have a, a good first down run negated by that call. 10 yards from the spot of the foul. And it is Repeat first down to the Colonials. Uh, first and 12, I think, for the Colonials right now. Holding. Yeah, holding call. And that's uh, that's 10, 10 yards from the spot of the foul. But right now, against this alignment, they're saying, okay, Finn, run the ball. We get four yards. All right, that's about that gives us about a second and uh, second and six. You gave him a good spot on that. I think as long as they run this three-man contain, we're going to run. We, that's that's a statement because against this, you know, big D line of LS, we're moving the ball. Yeah, absolutely.
Finn Murray will be approaching 100 yards, rushing very soon. Now he, uh, LS with a four-man rush. Actually, he already is. He's at 102. Barat. Yeah. Just caught down by James Dillon. And again, we really haven't done well going out to the flats against no, no, this Dallas team. Good pursuit. They've shown good pursuit all game. And they're lined up that way. They really are. They got the, you know, they got like four linebackers across the whole field. They're running a essentially a 3-4, three, 3-5. Three, all right, third and a long six, seven. Three thirty. All right, they're taking one. a lot of time on this play here. On purpose, okay. I would hope. But uh, oh yeah, Stanford Art with a first down catch across the 40-yard line into Warrior territory. That, Tim, that could be the most important play in this game because that keeps the ball away from Lincoln Sudbury, but even more importantly, it gives A.B. its confidence back that they can make that play because it's been all L.S. for the last four minutes. And that, I'm not sure about that spot. It's hard to see from this side, but make that the uh, 41. Divide formation. Again, Barat with a power. Nice step up for about four or five yards. And a good block. He can run there. Yeah, I think he got about, about six yards. Almost six. Well, they give him about five yards on the play. And that is the wing T there. You can see the... You know, you're running parallel to the line of scrimmage Ladies and then the and cut and the step winning. up and the strong <laughs> seam <laughs> attack. But it's really it's really amazing to see the feeling of momentum going back and forth. The LS has all the momentum. That one big play to Bernard, and you can see them coming out with that run with Barat with, with a lot more confidence. And as Coach Belichick would say, how important all three phases of the game are you? You slip up on special teams a little bit and it basically takes you out. All right. We got a timeout here. We're running a divide with Pacello and Barat in the backfield, which we haven't run all game. We got a timeout, AB. It's a 30 second And timeout. something is amiss here. And uh, Coach Bassett is uh, motioning to the team to get back there. And I think there was some kind of misalignment or uh, something that Bassett picked up, but a very important time out here on a very important play. Uh, look at this LS now. Goes to their four-man rush, a little bit more beef up front because of the divide formation, I would assume. And it's a Wow, big time run right up the middle goes Finn Murray and he goes all the way down. No flags. No, no, to... no. They're calling the ball down, not a fumble. The ball is down and Finn Murray now must be about 125 yards rushing. That's my my estimate. How close are we, Will? That's 127. 127 yards rushing for Finn Murray and a big a first down. He's always gotten a touchdown. Well, that was a productive timeout. <laughs> You're telling me. <laughs> Look that, at us in that divide. I don't know, I don't know what they call it, what they did there, but uh, that was a good timeout. Well, big time cut there as Barat still on his feet Ooh. with a forward. Motion there, gets the balls marked on about the six, maybe six and a half yard yeah, line. Yeah, and, and Nick Machillo just got pancaked there at the end of the, at the, end of the uh, play. If you see this play, Nick was right back there and just got knocked right down. And this device has been working. What's LS going to do to adjust to this? Barat's got to take care of that ball. You see him swing that ball around. Yeah, that was scary. 
That was scary to see him. All right, third, uh, lost three yards there, not going to work. And uh, I think that divide is going to get uh, put back on the shelf. It was very useful and productive. It gained about 45 yards on that divide formation. All right, now we're within under a minute now in the third quarter with this big third down play for AB. And now you, now you look for the uh, uh, deflection off of Wickman uh, to the hands of Lowe. And look that, at, look at AB in a, in a virtual huddle, not even showing their formation until the last minute there. Interesting. All right, Finn looking. He's got some, oh, oh almost oh. intercepted. Wow. Wait. Ball intended again for Ethan Lowe. They've been going to Lowe. Something there about the coverage uh, there. Okay, now I would kick a field goal, Tim. And that's what we're going to do. I kick a field goal. You've got a 14 point lead. We're right back in that and other situation. The difference between 14 and 17 points in high school football is enormous. It looks and it good. It looks good, and it is good. Oh, yeah. That's a huge field goal. 31 to 14 points. with 23 seconds to go in the third quarter. And we're up three scores. It may be three little ones, but we're up three scores. <laughs> uh, they can't. They can't beat us with two field with two uh, touchdowns and two two point conversions. They can come within one, but they can't beat us. Oh man, that is a huge score, Tim. That's a big score. That's a very clutch special teams play again. You know, the great execution on the snap, the kick was up, you know you had to get it out. LS has been. So we've kept the ball away from number 30 the whole game. This is Alex Keelan, the senior running back. I'm gonna guess he's, uh, he's quicker than uh, Anything, even though you, you kick the ball to Smith, so, you know, that's really something. All right, Finn. And this time they kick it to him. And a good special teams block as he gets out across the 30. Okay, a lot, a lot of action on that. All right, I like that special teams play though. That's, uh, that's gonna help. 16 Potter. seconds to go in the third quarter. First and 10, Well, the beauty of that is AB used some clock and brought it down all the way to the end of the third quarter to get that score. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a heck of a fourth quarter, Tim. And look at this now. You got LS and a read option looking like AB. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got a flag here. Now, what's this? Too many men on the field, maybe? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That... Looks like too many men on the field. Barack yeah, was on gonna, the field. That is going to make that first down a lot easier. It'll give them a lot more options with a first and five here. I'd say uh, Ellis goes back to a wing team. First and five, Warriors. It's a good call. It's a good call now. Keep it on the ground. Nope. And the pistol. All right, O'Connell stretching out for an outside run. And he is going to get a yard or two, depending on the mark. Okay, Nick Pacillo. Good pursuit. O'Connell picks it right from out of bounds. Second and four. Wins. And really almost no gain on that. As O'Connell was flushed out, Nick Pacillo uh, got him right at the sideline. That stops the clock with nine seconds. AB now playing a single safety with Bernard back there. They run the fake arch, play action, throw back to Dylan, and he's oh, cut they down. Got him they snuffed it out this time. Andrew Chen 
And I believe last year, Mark, my, so one of my nightmare memories last year, they had a touchdown on that very play. Remember that throwback? Yeah, I did. I do. I remember that play. Now, watch out. Hollister Stein having an issue right now with his right knee. He's walking off very gingerly and going right over to Mr. C. Hopefully it's a little hyperextension. Mr. C will get him on the, uh, the unicycle. We don't have one, but just imagine he did. <laughs> All right, we're at the end of the third quarter. We thank our sponsors, Acton Pharmacy, Dunkin' Donuts. They're gonna take the donuts out of Dunkin'. It's just gonna be Dunkin'. Uh, Dunkin', Gallant Insurance, Huntington Learning Center, Medical Aesthetics, National Aviation Academy, Shire, Caton, and Epstein, Steinberg Lally Charitable Foundation, and T.C. Landos. Thank you to our sponsors. Sponsors, we appreciate everything you do. Thank you so much for your support. All right, now, this could be the play of the game for L.S., because they're in a third and 12 on their 30 yard line. So there's a punt. If they don't make that first down, they've got to punt it back to AB. Third and 12. AB, a little confused on the lineup as they run a fake power to the right and is a keeper. And a little throw back. And that's a lay. It's a first down. Dylan, Dylan just reaching. There's a making, captain reaching out and doing what he doing, doing what captains do. That 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 those are the kind of game saving plays that players make. And uh, that's the second or third time they've run that play. That late little throw out there. We almost had uh, O'Connell for the sack there, but that's a great play. That's why LS is where they are this season. All right, this double option, a double move on the outside. Oh, what a catch! Oh, I tell you. Wow, that double move. Noah just didn't have it. He, uh, he went for the move a little bit, and uh, that is Cam Anderick earned that catch. Take a look at that. One of, the, one of the greatest catches you will see anywhere. I don't care if you're talking about this wow. season or ever. That was an absolutely acrobatic catch. I didn't think he had any chance of that catch. Folks, we're getting our money's worth tonight. That, these kids are going after it. This is an unbelievable football game. All right. I back, they toss, and gonna it's going to be a halfback option pass as he's looking deep and nothing there. And there's no flag on the play. Lele was down and uh, Otero was down. I'm not sure if they were diving for uh, the ball. A little mix up there on the replay. Well, I tell you, that, 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 that's a throw, frankly, that Dylan should not have made because that was, that was fraught with all kinds of danger. He should have just held the ball and, uh, and taken the loss on that one. That was a very dangerous pass by Dylan. Trying a little trickery here, didn't work. Here we are, load right for the wing left, and we run that little dive up the middle, goes Dylan. And there's blocking downfield, and uh, they're now in that run attack formation. Okay, third and four. 9.43 to go in the ball game, 31 to 14. Just, for, just forgive me if I keep looking at the clock, you know, because that's one thing that you shouldn't do. You shouldn't look at the clock. All right, Lele splits out right. He's on, uh, Otero's on him. And it's a keeper with O'Connell. And he's got a slot and he scores. And Lincoln, Lincoln Sudbury, you can take a look at O'Connell. He had a good hole and he just went north, south, right into the end zone. And it is 31-20. And uh, in the second half, LS has outscored AB 20-3 so far. 
Uh, 20 to 10. Uh, 20 uh, to 10. Yeah. Uh, uh, that's right. 20 to 10, sorry. All right, they're, ki they're kicking the ball. That's, that's the play. They don't need to go for two. Wow. Whoa. Almost blocked. Wow. But very close. Both teams have really attacked. All right. All right. Now, Nine now Lincoln, to go. Lincoln Sudbury is now within striking distance. 9-17 to go. It's a 10-point game. Tim, now this is a football game. Now this is the, you, you hang on. You, a, I feel that AB is going to need another score to win this game. They're, I think they're going to need 38 points. Yeah, I agree. I mean, if, if, if uh, LS has been scoring 40 a game and we, we took a half away, uh, you know, you would think we're, we're in the margin here, but let's face it. Uh, as good as our defense has been shut down all year, and LS scored 21 points against us. See, it's see the uh, how these teams are competing against each other. Okay. All right, now you see Otero uh, is not back deep. A single receiver is Barat as your deep man. Lead it, and leave it go, that's, that's, that's it. A Walking back. into the end zone. Yep. All right. Rock can throw the ball. You see him throw it to the ref there. That's the halfback option. Yeah, that's right, yeah. It's a lot of time left in this game. Ten points. And I think Coach Bassett right now is just telling his team to stay aggressive. Yeah, I really don't think Coach Bass has any other gear. <laughs> he, just, no, you're right. he just attacks. Hollis Durstein. It looks good. He's, he's good to go. Here we go. Middle blitz, and this time Bernard turns. He gets the most out of that, about a seven or eight yard. No, no, he got a first down, I think. Did he get it? I think he got a first down. Let's see no. where they mark it. Oh, right, okay. All right. This, All right. Oh, this gives AB a lot of options here. Where the second, second is very short. But, oh, wait a minute. They're giving him a first down. They are giving him a first down. That's right, All right, yeah. Okay. Take a look at that play. Bernard, Bernard owns the sidelines, I'll tell you. Well, he just loves the sidelines. He's been going in the middle this year more than more than before but he just loves to go to the sidelines ab taking a long time to get this play in and uh you see ls now with a three-man contain well barack with a cutback run and then north south and he gets another first down all right tim did you see that first step that first step or barack and he just was uh, able to elude everybody. And another first down for AV. What a way to respond. It looked like a video game. I had, I had my hand on the toggle. Right, right, okay, exactly. left and right. right. Make him go left. Make him go right. But take a, look, take a look at this play and look what Alex Brunt is doing here. He gets the ball and he just makes that first move. That first move gets him open. That cutback is uh, could be open. The LS might be over pursuing now on that. That's part of the adjustment. All right, they're rushing four. See if they blitz. Run blitz, and it's whoa! I'll tell you, Finn had to get that ball out so quick. That was so close to Matt Cunningham jumping that route for a for a pick six. That was a little scary. You see how aggressive Coach Bassett is? So you got the Captain Smith out there, great athlete. We've been throwing at him all game. It's not like he's been missing coverage. It's just that we're throwing to a zone space. And uh, But still, you know, usually you're avoiding that kind of uh, attack. Not, not Coach Bassett. Interesting. Second and ten. All right, keeper up the middle goes Finn Murray. This time, L.S. But oh, Finn powers yards. his way for about five to being at third and five. 
in Garrity meeting number 10 in Murray at the line. For a four-yard game, third and six. Oh, that's a big Lowry. play right here, Mark. I'll tell you, we need a first down here. If we don't get a first down, I tell you, this game is going to come right down to the nail-biting part of it. I haven't bitten any nails yet, but, but I'm getting ready. We got Bernard open on the sideline throw again. Oh! oh Bernard right there. through the hands there. He was open. That, again, an aggressive play. And uh, we're going to... Yeah, Tim, Tim, that, that, that ball came in really hard. Wow. And, uh, it, it, yeah, that was, that was a real fast ball. Bernard had his hands in the air. There's a lot this of confidence between that combination of, a, you know, that time you just get away with it here. All right, look at uh, LS coming after this punt. And it's a fake. Uh, and they're going to get a good roll. Oh, no, 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 no. no. All right, up to the. Well, I'll tell you, I thought Finn Murray could have run for the first yeah. down there. He might have had the option. I know in the Coach Maver days, you had a wide open option on oh, that Oh, I remember, yeah. I, I think AB has a history of Correct. fake punch like probably no other team in the Massachusetts uh, who is, football. Who is that rugby punter? I forget his uh, name. He did everything. Uh, uh, his name escapes me, but uh, he, he ran for a few first downs. All right, you see if they go after uh, Noah. Again here, you see, you see Bernard shading over in that direction. So they got double on the outside. And incomplete. It's good adjustment uh, by our coaches here. Yep. A lot of respect for Cam. Andre, get there. And uh, so there you go. I mean, some of these plays are just, you know, a defensive call against an offensive call. You leave uh, no on an island today that, that seems like that matchup is tough on a double move. Yeah, no, that deep help by Bernard really really makes a difference here. That means that there's a middle tight end uh, opportunity for Ellis to take advantage of and see if they go after that. All right, O'Connell looking over the middle. Oh, incomplete. Lele had it in his hands. And, and now they're in a third and 10 situation. And let's see if AB comes after them. Well, I think in this, in this play, again, I, I would almost put money that the ball's going to go in Dylan's hands on a screen <laughs> of some sort. I mean, that's, uh, you know, if you we're, get, if you we're get, playing if, back. We yeah. got three safeties. They're 10, we're 15 yards off the ball. You get the ball to Dylan about five or six yards in and say, go ahead, Captain, make, you, make it work again like he has several times in this game. All right, O'Connell looking. Oh, oh no. and that is the third drop in a row Kyle by Smith. LS, and that puts him in a punting situation and a huge. Well, both teams, oh, you know, I goodness. think let's, let's, let's talk about how this game, 31-21, the way it's gone, the mental stress on these kids athletically in this contest is showing up here. And, you know, you, you, you know, on both sides, these kids are just fighting with yeah, their hearts. You know, you know, you use that baseball analogy where you have a pitcher throwing hard pitches. And, I mean, every every pitch here is a hard pitch for these kids. Yeah, I mean. So much is on the line here. And they have just, they just put their hearts and souls into this game. you got to admire. All right, no rush on this punt. We drop back, and it is a booming kick. And an oh, unbelievable an LS roll. That's going to be about a 70-yard punt on the 19-yard wow. line. Oh. So that, that, that's... <laughs> wow, what a, kick, what a kick to that, begin with and what a roll. That punt's worth a replay. <laughs> There, uh, if you take a look at the camera, caught the flight of the ball. Honestly, I lost it in the dark sky, <laughs> and uh, it was just amazing. Well, I, I lost it too because I would say, Vic, don't 
catch the ball. Don't call for a fair catch. Just let it roll at this point. And I, I was thinking, don't worry about it. It's in Lincoln right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My God, what a punt. That's a college punt. All right, you got Jonas in the slot. You got that seam open if you want to attack it. And a nice little play with Otero as he's going to get up the sideline and out of bounds. No, he doesn't. Stays in bounds. Wow. How Do precise, how beautiful is that play? I just take a look at this replay. Because yeah, you don't even have to talk about this play. Look at the timing on this play, and the execution is just incredible. Well, you know the nickname I gave him last week, Vic Dosi Do Otero, and I looked it up just to make sure I had it right. And that is a you know square down dancing uh, it is, it maneuver, is, is, back to back I, kind of formation. I've, I, I've been square dancing in, in my time. I know what a Dosi Do is. I think the last time I did, I was third grade. You know. <laughs> All right, LS rushing five. And a good, solid three-yard dive up the middle. You know, five, 38. You know, I, 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 and it's a flag. And it's against AB, it looks play. like, at least from the LS. Is that, is that, is that after the it's gotta play? It's got to be a personal, a personal foul. foul? Uh, that late, it, I did, in the I, height of the flag. I didn't, I didn't see that. That's a big call. Wow, that that's a that is a momentum killer. Well, it had to be. I, I you know if we can run the replay, I didn't see it. Um, still second down. Personal foul on AB. Unsportsmanlike conduct, and that brings it back almost to where they started. They started on the 19. Well, that's a big call. And that's Not back to the 24-yard line, and that puts A.B. in a huge hole right now. That is a potentially a game-changing call. We didn't see. Well, we don't we don't have the benefit of replay because we can't bring our truck to uh, to Sudbury because of the, the the field configuration. So we uh, we can't see this replay, but puts a big hurt on the Colonials right now with a second and 22 from their own 23 yard line. Well, after that setback, you know, see if this team can dig deep and execute here and get get this first down because this is uh, 5 4 to go, plenty of time left. All right, Finn looking. Has a deep ball with Bernard. Oh, oh and I believe that's a, that might have been a interference there. If you look at the replay, I think he was tripped up, but just uh, it, it happened pretty fast. Boy, that ball was thrown right where it had to be thrown, and that was so close to a completion. Again, Coach Bassett, aggressive as he is, and that was the right call. It's kind of like your deep in the end zone attack call, which is, you like the call. Not sure about now, that end point there. Now, whether that now, now, now I would I would I'd, I'd run the ball right now with third and twenty two. I'd run the ball. I take some time off the clock. There you Little. go. Okay. Here's Barat and <laughs> timeout LS. I'm gonna say okay. here. All right. What that does? That was that was a good good call. A good rush call. You gain some yardage, and you force LS to call a timeout, and now you punt it away. And once again, Tim, this could this could come down to the last few seconds of the game. You just don't know. It could come down to an onside kick. No question, a lot of ABLS games have come down to the last few seconds. All right, it's a big special teams play.
Good oh, punt, end nice over end, punt. fair catch. All right. At the 28. Now I thought Smith had some had some room to run. There were there were three uh, A B defenders around him, but uh, he fair caught the ball. He's been in the whole game. I I've, I've seen him with his hands on his hips. He, he might be a little bit fatigued right now. Coach Lopez with the. With the call, though, Connell. AB in a four man contain. Now. Looks like we're. All right, O'Connor rolling out. He's got somebody, he's going to keep it. Wow. Great, great defense. And that was. That was almost like a covered sack. O'Connell gained four about yards. four yards on the Second play, but that play looked like uh, it could have really developed good coverage on the part of the uh, AB secondary. Nice job with Noah Sweeney, as he's just been, they've been, you know, just trying to get that one-on-one -on -one with him, and Noah did a nice job that play. Okay, now Sweeney is on number two, Matt Cunningham. And it's all one-on-one. -on -one. He's got nobody in back of him. All right, O'Connell looks, and he throws us. Unbelievable. <laughs> Strike to Captain Woo! Kyle Smith. Well, I guess that Ky ball was thrown 40 yards on a rope. And that's what you want to avoid. You want, I want to avoid the long play and the quick strike. And here comes the Warriors. Well, we almost no time off the clock since they've taken possession. Now look, Dylan is in a wildcat. Looks like he's going to get the ball. Nope. All right. They're looking swing. It's blocking the back there. Lele with a nice catch. She's running back in the huddle. There's, there's a block in the back missed by the ref there, but all right. They bring up uh, second down and about two. Looks yeah, like. Yeah, very close to the first maybe down. Maybe one. It's maybe one yard. Left. LS attacking. Got a Taro one on one on the outside. O'Connell under pressure. And he throws it away. Well, that, was, that, that could have been that could have been grounding. They had somebody in the area. Great pursuit, Andrew Chen. Uh, no, I'm sorry. That's uh, Matt Germain chasing down O'Connell. And third and short right now. We're under three and a half minutes to go in this game. AB trying to hang on. All right, keeper over to left side and oh, he just—I think he I just think might have made be, it. Uh, looks like the line judge says, uh, "Geez, it might be fourth it. Yeah, first, first down. down. Oh! First down for the Warriors." And we got a timeout. And timeout LS. And burning timeout. another timeout, a 30 second timeout. And they've got a first and 10 on the 18 yard line. We're down to 321. LS fighting their way right back down. into I'll this tell game. You, they're, they're not number three in the state for nothing. I mean, they, they totally were dominated in the first half, and it's like an alarm went off, and they just woke up in the second half here. All right, I'm kind of looking for space there, and oh! 
intended for Dylan out in the flat. Yeah, way, way, you know, way overthrown by O'Connell. Dylan's so hard to tackle. You get the ball to him there, and Otero's a great tackler, but still, you get that ball to that kid into the open field. And uh, all right, 316, no time burnt on that play. Second and 10. All you need is one, is a sack, fumble, on, interception. Just one play, you just need one play to turn this momentum There's around. some confusion going on LS here with that lineup, but they get the ball off. O'Connell, under pressure, he's gonna scramble left. There's some blocking there. And the ball, he's tackled off. Probably after, it looks like about an eight yard game. Boy, that was close, that was close. He just eluded that sack. And now they've got about a third and a long three. From the AB 11 yard line. 2.48 to go in the game. They've got to really make, plenty they, of time. They gotta make a first down. Third and two, long two. And the ball's on about the 12 yard line. LS goes trips right. We've got one on one to the right side. Connor rolls and and it's touchdown to Anderson, who has been really open all and that, game. And that is the second touchdown reception of the game, and that brings it to a four-point game here. Two twenty-four to go. 31 to 27 with 2.24 to go, and LS lines up for the extra point. Wow. Low snap, but they get it up. And this kid can kick. Okay. All right. All the momentum is LS at this point. AB with a three point lead trying to hang on with 2.24 to go. And I'm not sure how many timeouts LS burnt at this point and how much they have left. But you just, you don't want to give that ball back to, to the Warriors at this point. I'm going to say they have three left. And uh, we really should keep a timeout. Uh, you know, stat. <laughs> I know. Stat I know, man, really, next game, yeah. man. We should just yeah. track timeouts because it's a uh, pretty important make. All right. Back deep is Brock. And you can see the skip and the step of the LS players. And really, you know, AP doesn't, you know, they're. They're playing, they're still aggressive and everything else, but LS has really executed this second half, yeah, especially I mean, the they, fourth quarter. They, they, they've got 28 points in the second half after being shut out in the first half. So a tale of two different halves here. And they might be onside. I don't, I don't see an onside kick coming here. I don't even kick, oh, I do. Oh, we got it. I think we got it. I think we got, we got it. it. Yeah. Oh. I did not expect an onside kick. Wow. I said it may come down to an onside kick, but I didn't expect one with two and a half minutes to go. And that's a great outcome for AB to start on the 42 yard line. AB at their own 42. All right, let's see if we can string two or three first downs here. Well, one thing's for sure, we're not going to come out in the wing tee and run a 36 power. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. Those days are over, especially against this big uh, LS defensive line. with a dive up the middle, keeper. And uh, LS is gonna burn a timeout. Another timeout. 
Cal Kenny in on a tackle. You know, we Along with we Mike We have not really called Cal Kenny's name that much. Either they've been, you know, been running away from him or I, he hasn't been as dominant this game as he typically is. Well, do you keep it on the ground? Do you take a chance of... Well, one thing's for sure. A yard and a half isn't enough. <laughs> no. We need a first down. For sure. <laughs> so, uh... I'll tell you, after after an effort like this, they've got to, you've got to come out of this with a W. LS has shown that they are real champions. They're a very good football team. But we're the ones with the lead right now. Just have to hang on. I expect Bassett to, to throw the ball. We're, we're saying, Finn's gonna run to the outside. And he skips his way up for about a three yard game. Okay, well, that's a good call. Another timeout. Uh, in terms of uh, against that defense. Take a timeout. Up in Boxville, this is a third and four at the 48 yard line. Now, Tim, interesting call here. You're right around the 50 yard line. If you if you run it again, you run clock. You make them use maybe their last timeout, and if you gain a couple of yards. I would almost go for it on fourth down rather than turn the ball over to them again. Yeah, you know, I... Let's see how LS... Uh, you know, Finn was really in a rhythm that first half, and then he hasn't thrown enough to be necessarily in that rhythm or not. It's not, it's not clear to me. Last play, LS lined up 10 in a box, 11 in a box, really. If they line up that same configuration, you might just throw the seam play to Bernard or, right, right. or Weckman and, and uh, you know, look, we're ranked 16. This is uh, all, the, all the marbles here. We spread them out. I believe, and uh, and LS blew that up with an all-out. Looks wow. like they, they blitzed six or seven. Big mistake. That option worked for us last week against Barstool in a similar situation. LS really had that snuffed out. Wow. Pays to review tape, I guess, on that. But yeah, that's yeah. what we were running. Yeah, that was. That, that was. I don't know. I don't know about that play, Tim. At that at that moment, I wouldn't like Murray just right up the middle and see what he can get. And here we go, less than two minutes to go. And Finn Murray will be punting from his 34-yard line. LS will have plenty of time to uh, respond. LS might be all out. And a good kick. Out of bounds. Oh. At the 38. That's okay. I'll just take the non-return by Smith at this point. Given, you know. Now I will I will remind you, Tim, that LS has a fantastic field goal kicker in Joey Calero. We saw him even on extra points from 45 yards out. So if it, if it comes down to a field goal, even a long field goal, LS certainly has the ability to bring this game to a tie and force overtime. Nick Douglas checks in at linebacker a little bit more. And Barat is out uh, right now. All right. All right, kind of looking downfield. He throws the ball deep over the middle. 
to Lele. He's loose. And he's in field goal range. And we and we got the Lele play. We got the Lele family right in front of us here. And no more timeouts, I guess. We're gonna down the ball. We're gonna spike the ball, all right. Uh, so. 134. And they are, they are already in field goal range. And that Second kick can slide out kick. This game is, uh, you know, they maintain possession. This game is just about as good as tied in that regard. So. LS is going to take some shots to the end zone knowing that. We need a defensive turnover here. <laughs> We're in the same play on the other side. They're looking at a little pick play. O'Connell. Again. Play to Lele on a little trip pick. Lele, Lele, first Lele down throw. Just, he's just finding the scene. And they're going to spike the ball again right now. And down to 122. They, they really didn't need to spike the ball at that point and, and uh, give up a down. They had 122 to go. I wouldn't doubt a fake spike is in the cards here if they come up to this situation again because, you know, that th that was an opportunity to do something like that, fake spike. Yeah, in front a of yeah, fake spike, exactly. They had, they had plenty of time, 122. If there, if there were 30 seconds to go in the game, I could see them spiking, but they gave up a down there. All right, we need a turnover. We need a tip ball or something. Lele again. Out in the corner, a lot of respect. He's running that same trip. We're just not adjusting to that. We're kind of looking that way. And it's a little throwback to Dylan. He's wide open. He's got end zone. And he's going to get there. Touchdown, LS. LS takes the lead with 112 to go. Well, Tim, that was a. That was a beautifully designed play. Everybody's chasing the quarterback, and Dylan was just wide open. Uh, I don't know. Well, we saw that last year. The throwback to Dylan is the most dangerous play they have in the playbook. Well, you called it. You've called it a couple of times here. You know, it's just what it is. And this will make it a four, four point deficit right now with the extra point. And that kick can kick as every time he's kicked, it's unbelievable. All right, 112 to go. LS just puts it in high gear for the second half and is up 35 to 31. Wow, what a game. I'll tell you, the, 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 only, the only silver lining here is that they scored quickly. And we've got 112 and we've got timeouts left. And now it's going to be for us to respond here. Well, you said it, uh, you know, as we started the second half. You said AB's going to have to score 38 points to win this game. And, uh, you know, I think that uh, looks absolutely right there. You know, if they're going to win, and it's, uh, you know, it is what it is in that, you know, we came out attacking. We, we haven't really gotten in this hole by playing soft defense or anything like that. It's just that LS has executed Absolutely. and gotten back in this game. All right, we've, we've got to get we've got to get to the 40-yard line or better on this kickoff return. Give us a chance to get good field position and start our offense here. Oh, Let it go. I'll tell you, they're kicker. Yeah, you know, a good kicker is an incredible weapon in high school football, and they've got one. You know, Mark, I'm thinking ironically that that onside kick, we would have been better off if we didn't possess that. <laughs> You're right. With time point of view, and uh, given that, but you just never know how that card's going to fall. But interesting how, uh, all right, so we have a long field, 112 to go. Defensive line, give a sack. 
Our defense! Uh, we now have an offense that can do this. It's not the wing T, so you, we can score in a minute 12. And uh, see how LS comes out from a defensive point of view, rushing four. What? What's, what, 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 what do we got here? What do we got? That unsportsmanlike conduct call is a big call in this game, Mark. Oh, that, that, that hurt. That really hurt. All right, Finn looking. Throws the ball. Complete. No. Incomplete. Right, the ball. Strip the ball from Vic Otero. And now it's second and ten. Look at Bassett going right after the captains, all over it. And they're, they're, it you know, Ellis is making plays on defense. All right, Finn under pressure. Vic Otero! Oh, oh my down my to the 25 yard line, out of bounds. Oh, he used his legs to Whoa. make the play. And now AB is within striking distance with 57 seconds to go. A long reception from Vic Otero. Oh, they're gonna, he stepped out of bounds at the 30. Eight, it looks like. Uh, so that ball is still big time throw. Scramble by Finn Murray. Let's go defense! Big stop here, baby, big stop. Big stop. LS with two safeties. Finn Murray looking. He's got... Oh, what a play oh, by Smith! Oh, I thought Bernard was gonna get that, that ball. That was a touchdown on us. Finn just underthrew that, and a great reach, great athletic play. I'll tell you, every, these kids have just put it all out on the field tonight. Defense! Defense! Second and 10, 50 seconds to go. Timeouts left for A.B. Plenty of time to do this. We've got a game. 38, 38 is the magic number here. All right, Ben Murray under pressure again. And he gets the ball away. No grounding. Okay. All right, we're down to two downs here. Pressure from number 71, Cal Kenny. Cal, Cal. Right, that, was, that, was, that was Cal Kenny who was applying all the pressure. Let's go defense! Why Cal Kenny was the uh, lineman of the year, not only his girth, but his speed too. I mean, he's, got, he's Let's very go, quick. Let's go, Mike! Slot right. Finn's got to get rid of this ball this time. He's got some time. And it's a deep ball that he's a low. Oh, and it's, it's a flag. flag. It's, it's a flag. flag. It's, wow. And I think there was an interference that last series, a couple series ago, too. That's a little bit of a I'll tell wow. you, I'll tell you, I wish this was like the pros where they put the ball on the one yard line but we don't get the ball on the one yard line. But we do get a first down out of it and four more downs with 34 seconds to go and we advance the football. 34 seconds to go. Let's see where they mark the ball. That'll be a first and 10 for Achenbachstow. This is a classic LS AB game of all. Wow, we told you. We told you it was going to come down to the final second. Just had that feeling even, even a quarter ago. This is like the old days, Tim. Yes, yes. 
All right, Barack back at running back. Dual safety. And it's the ball thrown short. No catch. Oh, oh. Go through that replay there. I think Otero thought he had yeah, that. Otero thought he had it. But 29 seconds to go in the game. Second down and 10. Let's go, defense! I think he had the he had his hands before the ball arrived. And that's what happened, you know, uh, late in the third quarter as well. Uh, uh, refs were not gonna call two interference calls here at Lincoln Sudbury in the last uh, in the last minute. All right, third down. This is where the athletes, you know, the crowd is chanting against them. Do they have it in them to draw down and take this game? Let's go, D! Two downs a go for 10 yards to keep this game going. Finn Murray looking downfield under pressure. Uh, uh, almost intercepted. All right, we're down, we're down to our last play here. 17 seconds to go. You can see LS dropping, you know, really seven. And uh, causing Finn to really take some time to read what's open there. Let's go, defense! Uh, Duxbury is going to take a full timeout. All right. Full timeout by AB. 17 seconds to go. This is it. This is the game. Last, last play, maybe. What a response by LS, I'll tell you. Just amazing. Come on, LS! That's a crazy it's a crazy thought, but would you would you would you run thin on this play with every everyone playing back? Awfully, it's awfully risky. Well, they're rushing four and they're staying in their lanes and uh, very athletic front. That's a tough call. You got the middle of the field open, but he hasn't been able to get to it because there's been so much pressure. All right, Finn looking. That's and it's a caught first reception. down. That's a reception. It's a first down. And wow. Whoa, we're 10 seconds to go. We've got 10 seconds. And maybe three plays, Tim. Wow, what a reception. It's turned into one of the best, best games I've ever seen, Tim. There's no question about that. I mean, if you come back, you come back and win this game after giving up 35 points in the, in the second half. What an incredible response. I still keep thinking of number 87, that big target. All right. You want to be able to hit it quick here. You want to be able to run three plays in that 10 seconds, if you can, if you have two incomplete passes. LS rushing, uh, outside blitz there. They got an interesting formation. All right, Finn Murray. And that's about eight yards. Call timeout, four seconds. One more play. Number six, Victor Otero. Nick Otero on the reception. Takes the well, it all comes down and to this play. Second down. Nobody's now, left now, this place. Now, the, now the question is, do you run thin? I, I know you're going to pass, but I'm just wondering myself. Just have Finn Murray go up the middle and just try to get into the end zone. I think that's a pretty interesting call, actually. I would, 
You know, I, I actually think Coach Lopez is telling his team that right now. Cover the, uh, cover the keeper. Because this kid can run. He's got great yeah, vision. Yeah, you know, four, four, four yards at this point. You know, when you're that close to the end zone, everything is so congested there to, to throw the ball. And there may be an opening for him to just run up the middle and score. Be a gutsy call. Let's go, defense! Really nothing more to say at this point. 35. This 31 LS over AB with four seconds to go. We line up. Trips right. We got Bernard 101 in the corner doubling that. Finn Murray looks. Touchdown! Yes! Oh my god! Yes! AB with nothing on the clock! Wins this game! No flag! Oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> That's Joe Kasik. Wow. You know can say. Can you believe it? Wow, take a look at that replay. We ran the same play that LS ran against us. The trip's right. A little pick play. Oh, talk about. We got a flag on the play here. There's a flag on the play, I think, unsportsmanlike conduct on the part of LS. Oh, my goodness. We got coaches on the field and so on. I believe this score is going to hold. There's nothing on the clock. The game's over. That game is, oh, I, I have no words to describe this, Tim. This is the greatest win, I think, in the history of AB football. Well, I think, uh, you know, some of those, uh, you know, overtime Chelmsford wins. Uh, well, the Henry Morris, the yeah. Henry Morris Super Bowl. No, not, not because he's my game. son in law. No, 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 no. <laughs> I mean, that's great. Let's talk about regular season then. But, uh, you know, oh. with that game, uh, you know, I'm just out of breath. So let's, uh, we'll be right back after this word from our sponsors. Shire, Caton, and Epstein PC, located in the historic Weatherby House, has been your community law firm for over 25 years. We have five attorneys and a supporting staff to serve your business, real estate, or estate planning needs. For more information on how we can assist you in your legal needs, contact us at 978-264-4655 or visit us online at www.skactonlaw.com. That's www.skactonlaw.com. I'm Saad Dino, pharmacist and co-owner of Acton Pharmacy, located at 563 Massachusetts Avenue in West Acton. Your source for prescriptions, medical supplies, and a flu shot for the winter ahead. Our brand new state-of-the-art compounding lab provides compounding medications customized to the patient's needs in a specialized form like a liquid, cream, or capsules. Compounding medications are a needed alternative for those that cannot take commercially available products. We are also glad to assist you in helping you understand Medicare Part D plans and choosing a prescription plan that is best tailored to your medication needs. And when you can't come to us, we'll be glad to come to you via our delivery service. Acton Pharmacy has it all, so put us in your starting lineup this upcoming season. Good luck, AB. Hey America, is there anything you're truly proud of? How about becoming an aviation maintenance technician? In just 14 months, you'll be watching the metal birds that you just repaired soar back into the sky. I can't think of anything else to be more proud of. At National Aviation Academy, we train ordinary men and women to do extraordinary things. Welcome to your future. Your plans are ready for takeoff. 800-292-3228 or visit bostonwingman.com. All right, welcome back, everybody. We just saw one of the greatest games in AB history, and uh, even with LS's loss, I'd say one of the greatest games on their side as well, just in sheer student athletic competition. I mean, you know, this is a, this is a huge win. It was, you know, I, I think it, it went down, obviously the, the, the kids played a game, but the strategy on top of it, the combination was just a terrific, Terrific night of football. I just give tremendous credit to these kids for the way they battled, 
and conducted themselves on the field and just gave us one heck of an entertaining night of football. So I just, I, I just can't believe it. But uh, you know, what a great game! It just, just goes down. It'll go down in the, you know, it's one of the best games in the ages of uh, AB football. Absolutely, and this is this is uh, Friday Night Lights here. Friday Night Lights, it's just fantastic. I want to say one thing: Finn Murray wound up 22 out of 41 for 246 yards, no pass, more important than the last play of the game to Vic Otero, who was wide open, won the game, and uh, and this, you know, this could very well catapult AB into the top 10, which is just, just amazing when you think of it. And then also when you think of the fact, if you tell me, if you told me, well, Lincoln Suburbs is going to score 35 points in the second half and lose the game. I would say that that, that you are ready to be institutionalized. <laughs> no, I think uh, you know. I, this is nothing else to be said. It's a great set of comments, and we want to you know thank our crew. So let's. Uh, okay, let's... here we go. Our stat man, Will Henry. Thank you. That's a lot of stats to keep today. And uh, uh, Brittany Ford and Brian Coulihan. We're here tonight. We didn't have the truck tonight, but we want to thank our staff, Kareem Joseph, Chris Gray, Robin Kenny, Pat Snow, and Rick Degon is here. Rick is uh, here watching the game. This is one of the first games that he's actually had a chance to watch in a long, long time. And uh, next Friday night, we go to Drake it, and we go 4-0, most likely in the top 10, and this has just been one incredible evening of football. That's, uh, it has, one great game, and uh, wow, I, I, I think legitimately we're in the top 10. We weren't, this wasn't a, a freak game. We played to win. We executed, you know, just a few more plays in LS, as they say in football. So with that, thank you, team, and thank you to Rick for all the uh, editing he's going to have to do this week with his crew. <laughs> sure. He's got to splice in all the special effects and all that, so we thank you for that. So with that, folks, thanks to our sponsors and everyone, and we'll see you next week. A couple drops tonight. When it mattered. Six. 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 We're going to enjoy this one tonight. We're going to enjoy it tomorrow. I'm going to be the, the downer. Like it's a good football team, so we're going to enjoy it for two days, and then we're coming back to one way. Remember what we talked about after the ready? Yeah. Guys, got this one. Hey! 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 Do it up. Oh, it's not going to change. 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 Um, these guys are the bullies in uh, Mass in the DCL. And we, that's what we were saying all week. And we just took them down. It feels unbelievable. Man. Hey, it was an incredible win. The team gave up his points late in the quarter. And we just never gave up. Came down the, came down the field with uh, the pass. It was all 10 right here. 10 to a team. We don't want to die. Number one guy. Just mean great for just number one. Number one. Number one. We right right through the week we were saying, God believe. We believe you win.